Okay, I had a chance to work on a kitchen concept and bathroom. See the two bathrooms there. I you might notice right away that the desk is missing. I can still do a desk, but there's not Mantra doesn't have a desk drawer. So what would uh what what I would do is just do some framing. Um, out of filler, um, probably six inch filler uh, to accomplish the desk. So I've, at the moment, I've left it out. Um, so this is based on the drawing that uh, I was given. Um, you had two uh, big pantries over here on the left. Um, Mantra has 24 inch deep pantries. Those pantries in the drawing look like there was some something like 15 inches deep. So if you want to get into I can do that, but if you want to uh, if you want a pantry that's kind of an unusual depth, then I would have to do a um um a made to order cabinet instead of a stock cabinet. Mantra, this is a stock cabinet. But uh to substitute that, I put in two 30-inch wide um, pantries with roll-out trays. These these cabinets are 84 inches tall, so they will likely not touch the ceiling. Most uh, most ceilings are about 96 inches tall. Thought I would start with this design and give you a price, and then react from there. So I got panels on either side of the refrigerator with a cabinet on top to give the refrigerator a built-in look. This refrigerator is set up for a uh, standard depth refrigerator. Bank of three drawers next to the stove. Bank of three drawers next to the stove. Microwave over the stove. Super Susan in the corner with two trays that spin independently. See the wall cabinets here. Bank of three drawers. This is a trash pullout. Behind this door would be, it would pull out, and there would be two trash bins. There's a working drawer on top. Sink base cabinet, place for the dishwasher. This is a 12 inch cabinet with a drawer on top. You would put cookie sheets in here on a vertical. I did, uh, I didn't do, in, the, in your drawing it shows a, it looks like a lazy Susan. I didn't do a lazy Susan. I thought this would be a better use for the space. This is a, a cabinet with a drawer, two doors. Behind the two doors would be roll out trays. I think I've still got rollout trays. Maybe I took them out. Yeah, I haven't put the rollout trays in yet because I know you're um, we're budget sensitive here. But I think I have them in the rollout trays. Let me check. This one, the, the pantries have rollout trays. The two pantries. So this cabinet doesn't have rollout trays. Then on the island. can set up this as much as uh, however you want but this is a 30 inch this is a 36 and this is a 30 inch I don't think I put rollout trays in here no I did not but again depending on what the budget is we can add those bank of three drawers um, drawer on top two doors and then inside the cabinet let's just show you what that would look like is a half depth shelf. So when you don't have rollout trays, you get a half depth shelf. See that right there. Moving over to the bathrooms. Now this is assuming you have a little a little more than 42 inches of space. This is a 42 inch cabinet. 
I'd like to put pro I'd like to put fillers on either side of this cabinet. But um, to give it to, to make it easier to install. But you got a drawer, a drawer, two doors. Then over here we have a tall cabinet with adjustable shelves inside. Sink base cabinet, vanity sink base cabinet, bank of three drawers, vanity sink base cabinet. Then a space for the toilet. This uh, cabinet is 84 inches tall. Crown molding, you can see at the top. You can also see the crown molding in the kitchen. This island would have plenty of seating for four people. So I will calculate pricing based on this design. I'm going to use the Mantra product. You can certainly look through this website. But it's a plywood box. It's got dovetail drawers, soft closing, full extension, and there's plywood adjustable shelves. And I will likely use a shaker door. A white shaker door, they call it snow. There's other colors too, if you're interested, but I'll uh, focus on this Omni door style. 